disclaimer. The following video is part of a playthrough that contains these heavy topics. Viewing it is at your own risk, and with this, your discretion is advised. So here our topic is the trial and soul cubes. As you all know, since you've turned 15, you're now able to see your soul cubes. Soul cubes store your soul data, as the name implies. Ah, of course! The layer that soul cubes are just similar only cube. And the cubes which raises the controversy among our scientists. If soul cubes are omni cubes, then aren't we just meat armor they control? Look, she's about to jump. What, really? Did Isla? Huh? I was gathering by the windows. Somebody gasped. Not only, I found myself running outside. What's with the commotion? I can see. I know her. It's our class rep. Scarlet Eiler. And all a student and the student council member. Now back to the story. Do you know of the tale of the ink and paper princess? In our land during the pre oracle era, it was a part of psychological of a psychological test. It was made to be uni unfinished. And the one who read it had to write the ending themselves. It's surprising how much one can learn about another person just by having them write a few sentences. Want to listen to my own version? Oh, uh, I don't have uh, the other choice, do I? He pushes his hand and face again and again, frankly pressing the soap dispenser button over and over. Carefully place a hand on his shoulder. It stiffens at a touch. Stop it, you'll get blisters on your hands. I can't. I washed off the most of the soap, but I still feel dirty. Soup? My fellow students smashed my head into a warm soup. Oh. Must have felt horrible. Yes. In fact, everything I touch feels contaminated. I just can't shake off the feeling of disgust. I see. I'm unconscious of myself. I remove my hand from. How about you? You don't look well. I've done better days, I have to admit, but I'll manage. Seth is there for me. Is that so? Oh, the lesson has in. I left my back there. See you later. I wave to see. He waves back with a little uncertainty, as if testing the new gesture. Excellent. What is it, Miss Wolfsharm? Um, I'm I'm really, I can't find my belongings. That's us. If some accident took it. Excuse me, I go look for it. Teacher, can I go too? Why would you, Miss Warhol? Because I want to help, of course. Two heads are better than one. Okay, you can go. Henry runs to me with a happy gun. I'll help Charlotte. Thank you, Henry. I appreciate Henry, I appreciate it. Excuse me, what the fish? Sleeping obtained. Okay. You don't want to I have to tell you it's a room okay garden golly are these yours i don't know and pins are covered in mud look it's yours too right this text was cost a lot oh no there's another textbook i wonder who did this I like this notebook. The pages are completely soaked. Maybe there was some kind of misunderstanding. There's no way it is. Except another notebook. Did I do something wrong? In the pages of my book of truth were torn out. Even though I worked so hard on keeping it tidy. Those bastards, how could they do this to you? 
doing it some kind of mistake. There's no way it is. Like I said, it's okay. Unforgivable, unforgivable, unforgivable. Enough of this. I report this to the teacher on New Leaves before I could protest any further. Looks like I have we found everything. I don't feel like going to class anymore. Let's go home, Seth. I'm home. Took you long enough. Hey, what happened? Is something wrong? You're covered in blood. Don't worry, it must be mine. That's exactly what I'm worried about, stupid. You need to see Huxley now. It's nothing important, really. Uncle Cyril, no objections from the sick. Somebody drags me to the basement stairs, tugging me by the sleeve. What were you going to do? What were you doing, even? I talked to God today. Oh no, this looks worse than I thought. Might as well check your brain function too. Should I start with good or bad news? Just kidding, I was planning to tell you the good news first anyway. Well, good news is that I know what it is. The bad news is that it's nearly uncurable. I see. So that, what exactly are these, uncle? Heart wounds. As I like to call them. What? This kind of disease is quite common for those that are up to the lesson spirit, just like you are now. You're stressed, anxious, or hurt by words and actions of others. These wounds inflicted upon you will manifest as scars on your body, mostly on your arms, to be more specific. Not default, but it will cause you some minor inconveniences. The good side of to this disease is that although your body will become vulnerable, your mind will receive less damage. Isn't that wonderful? <laughs> I suppose so. Nothing to laugh about. No, no, don't be so harsh. Can you see our little miss already has a weak immunity to her environment? Whatever. I'm getting back to work. Do forgive him. No, I'm not angry. It's just that I don't understand why he is. He must be worried about you. Am I wrong? He shouldn't be. I don't deserve that. He must be thinking otherwise. Take care, little one. How will you? Very not, Seth. We'll make sure of it. <laughs> I'm sure he will. Good night, Dr. Huxley. Sorry for troubling you at this hour. It's nothing. Remember my clinic's motto? Healthy people are not welcome here. So there, feel free to visit when you're sick. For now, I'll get back to work. Dear girl, I don't think it's a good time to end it, but... Aiden, is that you? What happened? I decided to take up cooking. And right now, the skunk is destroying everything inside. Ah, I see. I won't hinder you. Good night, Seth. Rise and shine. Ray waltzes around the room. As you can see, I've done some rearrangements in this place. Has it become lovely? I'll do something about the fog, too. Also, I've brought you clothes. Put your hands up. And voila. Now we're one of a kind. <laughs> Ray? Yes? What are all those books doing here? Let's call it a mind library. You see, memories are stories from the past that we retell to ourselves. Once they're gone, you're no longer the person you used to be. But I'm drifting away from the point. Stories are meant to be kept in books, right? Many books make a library. Exactly thousand. So, yeah. There, you can find every memory, every feeling, every action you've done or considered doing. All possibilities are written down right here. Some stories are better off being forgotten, however. I selected every variety of especially interesting memory journals for you. Be free to read them if you feel like it. And if your memory is still fresh, I believe your puppeteer will be delighted to know 
more about people you've associated with. Nah, I go with you. How I met Bennett and Huxley. I was eight. On one of the days when I was home alone, they appeared out of nowhere at my doorstep. There were there was small rhythmic knocking at first. Knock, 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 knock. knock. Repeating over and over again. I knew I shouldn't open the door. Mother told me not to do so, no matter what. Your children don't disobey their parents. Knock, knock. When I was scared of the unknown, I crawled under the bed to hide beside the monsters beneath it. I felt safe among them. As time passed, the knocking got louder and louder and louder until I couldn't bear it anymore. I was adamant on staying under the bed until morning comes. Then I heard the door opening with a click sound. Someone came in. My room had no locks, so I ran to the bathroom. However, I was too slow. A figure in a hazmat suit covered my mouth, and her hand caught around me in an iron hold. Shh! The intruder whispered. Don't make a sound. None of the figure I had a mask on. There are one plague doctors from horror movies would wear. He spoke like a doctor in an understanding, polite voice. We're sorry to interrupt you, but I'm afraid we have no place to go in this cold and the other. Also, we have turned to express quite an inexact direction to our humble plea for shelter. After being turned down so many times, we figured we're forced away in, so you see, we're so very tired. You'll live alone? The person in the hazmat suit asked in a harsh tone, hissing at me. No was my simple answer, in a voice hoarse from fear. I thought of Umbrella Man and his quiet presence in the room, and how good would it be if he appeared sooner. It was nothing like these violent strangers. Hmm. All right, are you good at keeping secrets, the one? The doctor asked. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> the only option I had was to nod in approval. Great, Bennett, dear. If you would be so kind to release the child, she's no threat. You're too trusting, Dollar Grumble. Am I? <laughs> the taller person let out a loud laugh, sending a shivers down my spine. You see, I'm a doctor, he continued figures. However, my stay in this place is tightly confidential, so I wouldn't like anyone on our tail. Please do respect it and keep our stay here a secret. If you don't, I'll kill your parents. And it said in a casual tone, as if it wasn't a threat. Father doesn't come home these days, I replied, sent by the fact. Sorry, just your mother, then. That settles it, the doctor beamed. Now, now, the one. Accompany us to the bathroom, for I'm uh, so awfully hungry I could eat a human. The small man um, elbowed him. Ouch! Sorry, sorry, that was a joke. About him. The doctor quickly backtracked. In the morning I found the two peacefully sleeping in the bathtub, having eaten all of the soap and shampoo on the shelves. You? The next day they had settled in the basement, and a week later they was doing all kinds of errands for their research, collecting I said an F. Collecting bucks, buying a year's supply of soap with the funds in my money jar. Helping to carry out bags with unknown contents on a daily basis. Of course, I made sure mom never ever went to the basement that night. Roman appeared to be excited only to pat my forehead and reassured me that he'd keep an eye on them. We end. Oh, I was nine. Oh, a year later. It was during Christmas when I hid under the sofa in order to catch Santa Claus with a rope and a bottle of chloroform. What the actual Charlotte? The one who came through the fireplace wasn't Saint Nicholas, but the horned creature instead. A devil? 
I'm out, mischievous one. I can see you. He called. Unwillingly, I had to comply. I leaned the chloroform behind my back. You're not Santa Claus, I declared, a bit disappointed. I'm already known by the name of Krampus. Oh, it's that guy. The beast, answered, proud of himself. So Santa won't come, I sighed, sucking even more. Santa Claus brings gift to good children only. I come to punish those who misbehaved, the beast continued. But I'm a good girl, I declared confidentially. May I ask why you feel this way? Mom says so. Even though she barely sees you, how can she make that statement? Mom's ours, right? She always says not to talk to strangers, I added pouting. The swift movement I brought a chloroform so tall to the creature's face. Seconds later he was sprawled on the floor, motionless. It's a pity you're not Santa Claus, I exclaimed, hovering over him. Slowly I dragged the body down the stairs to the basement. What's the commotion about? Two figures peeked out of the dissection room storeframe. It was Bennett and a co-worker of his Florence. Broad friends, why didn't you say earlier? Well, since he found the new bright yellow hazmat suit, it was no longer called B-12. Bennett was constantly in a great mood. It was barely any signs of the moody person he used to be. Mind helping me a bit? I smiled, sweating. Sure, what do you want to do with this? Dissecting? Researching? Eating? Perhaps? Bennett asked mischievously. No, no, I want to become friends. You want to become friends with the campus? You want to become friends with a demon? That that disciplines misbehaved children in a way that I don't even want to think about? Okay. How do you plan to do that? Florence gave me a worried look. I looked at the ceiling as if the answers were there. Make him sign a contract, maybe? Perhaps it was mischievous. A mischievous child of all. Perhaps you would like to join me in reading. Nah, alright, I won't bother you then. See you, princess. Excuse me? Four days later? <coughs> Are you alright? It's nothing, don't worry. Just need to wash my face, that's all. Today too. Get up, go to school, and go back to sleep. Thanks. Who are you? Bennett? Where? Huh. Oh, it's just you. Hi. Ah, uh, it's a... It's resting you without the mask. Use the plant with the crowd in it. And safer considering the environment now again. Does your face still hurt? A bit. Not much. Not to the point of being unable to sleep anyway. But since Henry Roof removed the eyes from my internal organs, I've been just fine. Versus who's Henry? I think it was the doctor. Okay, that answers. It, it probably is answered. But the, the second question I have is... Excuse me, you have eyes in your, in your organs? I mean, you had eyes in your organs. Huh? Only these orbs don't like when soap gets into them. You need to use the, the sink, right? Ah, uh, yes, I've been coughing up ink lately. Ink, huh? Maybe you should collect it. We can make a fortune on some pulp point pens. <laughs> Alrighty, I have to run. Gonna finish my business in the violent room before Game of Chess starts. And seemingly satisfied with his financial proposal, is the bathroom. Wash my mouth and face until the ink stains become barely visible. Now that's better, you know. Oh, right. There's something I want to get before we go to school. 
Oh, visit Felix, okay. Not just anything on And not, not now. Yeah, well, I kind of want to do that now. And it seems occupied. No. I don't even want to ask what he's doing with that chainsaw. Just saying. Hi. Good morning. I know that look. Do you need something? Oh yes, do you have a spare pair of clothes? Oh, what for? A friend. Oh, not a mutual friend, but an unacquired friend, rather. Don't tell me it's that god guy. Yes. He doesn't like germs, apparently. The god has mistophia, huh? I'm even surprised. Here we go. Thank you. Yes, yes. What a wonderfully helpful person I am. I'll mind your business. See you later. Find C before what? Charlie, aren't you? Practically throws herself at me. A white smile is passed on her face. Oh, she's cute. I've missed you. Hey, hey, let's go feed the mag cats before class. The stray ones. So the rumor was true. Yes, they're in the garden. Come on, let's buy them food. Although I forgot my wallet again. It's okay, I can buy it. Ready? Why do we leave? Let's go, let's go. Alright, lead the way. Just have to find C later. Do I have any money? Oh, it's okay, let's settle for the cheap stuff there. How much is this junk food actually? Going to the garden. Meow, meow. Aww. <laughs> my cat's nothing against my hands. No need to f for formalities. I'm just a mere human. Bring out the snacks we brought. Today's special flavor is failure and impending doom. My cat has to eat with immunity. Good cats. Let's visit them next time too. Sure. Now then, let's go back and change for P class, shall we? Oh, sorry. There's something I have to do before the lessons was. But I'm here. What other business can you have? It won't take long, I promise. Is that so? Well done. Go on. I won't wait for you. Okay, third floor. Oh, wait. What's on the book he was reading when he sees me? Hi there. Hello. Busy? Sort of. I'm gathering information on this world. Memories are incredibly out of order, which is a great con inconvenience. But well, I could find very illustrated manuals for express weight loss and lists of ways to become a billionaire by clicking pop up aids ads. Also, a collection of must read classics that nobody will ever read. I hardly help with the organization of my mindscape, but it was an entertaining read anyway. The school library isn't the place you should turn to. Yes, perhaps I should have taken the leaf that they were handing out on my way here. You wanted knowledge on sales in supermarkets? Then absolutely. Oh, why don't I give you my notes? I has to bring out the book of truth from my bag. It's just my theories and observations though. They're a bit silly. Here you can, here, you can have it. Here's the only to stop midway. He's breathing hitches. Sorry. I can't accept it after all. Why so? Ah, it's because it's not clean, right? I'm really sorry. Don't worry about it. How would I tell you everything I know? Ah, I would be kind of you. Then it's a promise. Something I can give you in return. You don't have to really. I want. Here. I wrote stories, you see. Perhaps you'll find it in the day interesting. You can throw it away after you read it. Don't worry, I'll keep it. Ah, I almost forgot. I brought you these. I had the clothes to see. You said you didn't like touching things, did you? He looks dumbfounded for a moment. Are these for me? You see someone else here? No, it's just... Oh, thank you. You really needn't have done so much for me. 
Don't say that. I'm happy to be of help to you. Sorry, I have to run. We have PE class today. See you, see.